Hello everyone, we're back in the world. Pull a few strings, grease a few palms, twist a few arms, and okay. bang! Just like that, the Department of Fish and Wildlife has a new base of operations. Now, we'll need to hit the ground running if we're gonna have this place ready for something it hasn't dealt with in 65 million years. The bare bones are established. But hmm. before the ones covered in flesh and blood arrive, we'll need it fully functioning. Owen and Claire are already on site. They'll have more info for you. Dr. Dua will be coordinating your activities. And me? I'll be managing expectations and staying an arm's length away from the meat of sources. <laughs> oh, wait. Arm's length is probably not the best choice of words. We may need some additional hands on this one. Mr. Lambert? Standing by and ready to go. Oh. Just give the word. George Lambert is an expert ranger who worked with us in the islands and is now with the DFW. He and Owen will deal with the dinosaurs while we address the facilities. There are a number of animals from your previous captures that will be coming your way soon. Delays are unacceptable. Understood. We'll start with the construction of animal enclosures. We'll catch them, you keep them. Well, as I was saying, we're back in the world of dinos and two-legged lunches. So, um, we need to put a gate in here somewhere. I think we'll put it over here. So it's a bit away from things. So we've got the control center. What else do we need? Emergency shelter, facilities, no. Operations, here we go. Do we have a response? Yeah, we've got a response facility. We don't have a medical one. We don't have a staff centre. We've got an expedition centre. Now, it could be that we put the expedition centre sort of over here-ish. Start building out this way, you know? Do it that way. Okay, well then. So, you can see here, this enclosure has now been built. Let's get some aqua minerale in here. Nice area of water for them to enjoy. Here we go, six seconds. The captured Carn... Carnotosaurus. Cannot, yeah, him. Let us transfer our friend. And what we'll also need to do is two of those. And let's put one of those right there, I think. Hello. Just like us, the dinosaurs are always learning. And you need to keep that in mind as you build another dinosaur habitat. Safety first, for them and us. Get it yeah. built, then get the dinosaurs into the new enclosure. That about cover it, Doc. Now, Perfectly. what I think I'm going to do is just build a little extension here, out like this. And then... No, I'm going to have to build it across and I like that. And then, ah, curses, not big enough. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to delete that, delete that, delete that. And then go back in. Like that. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to attach it like so. So what that does is it just gives us an extra layer of security uh, to keep these snappy little sods in one particular place. So, let's add a task and get these guys checked. So, see how they are. 
Requires a status check. Yep, no comfort data. Oh, look at him just sitting there. Oh, you love me. So, these are Carnatosauruses. Yeah, he's he's kind of scary. Those horns as well. But he's got plenty of water. Look at this. Oh, that's a problem. He's taken the bumper off the front of the damn car already. Yeah, by all means, guys, just drive in the water. Because that'll work out well, won't it? Oh, damn, did I just do a normal carnivore, not a live one? Bugger, I did. Okay, so... Vehicle under threat. Of course it is. Um, what we're going to do then is we're going to delete that and we're going to put a normal live one in. Live, thank you. Like so. Now, because of this additional sort of airlock organisation, we've got a little bit more security. What? You little git! Oh, that's not good. Right, capture teams. Tranquilize that bastard. Ranger team. Repair that fence ASAP. The quest... Oh, God, and another one. Where's he gone? There he is. Put them both to sleep, please. Let's get him over there. And also... Him down there. So, at least then we can kind of get an idea of what's going on with them. Now, what's he missing? Nothing, because we can't click on him because he's being carried away. A little bit annoying. So, it's distinctly possible that he's missing some bits and bobs that we're going to have to fill in. So, essentially, we may have to literally Look at it, pause it, add everything, unpause it. You might want to call that gaming the system, but what the hell, we'll go for it. So as Kano here is being lo lo lowered into the, uh, into the area, same as his brother over the other side there. Okay, so, comfort, what does he need? Pause. Um, he needs sand, he's prey, area, cohabitation. So sand is predominantly the main thing, I'd say. So let us go into the environment and paint in loads of sand. So we're going to have loads of sand around the water's edge. Probably put loads of sand down here as well. Keep a little bit there. So keep the sand high. At this, ah, screw it, we'll do this area as well here. So, let's quickly unpause. He's lonely, he says, but then he's got a friend nearby. The area is okay-ish. Prey. Doesn't have any prey. Okay. So what we'll do then is we'll get rid of that. And... We'll put that in. 
And so, yeah, there we go. Live prey. So that should make him a happier bunny, if nothing else. How's our friend over here? He's lonely. But you've got a friend over there. Ugh. Silly sod. I feel like... See, now, are you going to see your friend? Have a drink of water, relax, and see how you like the place. Ah, that's why his territory hasn't... moved enough. There we go. So he's starting to improve things. So that can only be a good thing. So you can see the area, he's, as he's increasing his area, so that's going up. Don't even think about attacking the fence. Oh no, he's going to attack one of them. There we go, flying sheep. And the sheep is gone. Well, the goat, but yeah. You know what I'm saying. So if we look on the map... Our other friend here. You can see their two territories aren't really overlapping yet. They haven't sort of... met each other. But that will change in time. We can't really sort of rush them. Look at him, doesn't he look lovely? Come on, go see your friend. Here we go. <laughs> nice music, I will say. Here we go. They are now content. Also content as he has company. There we go. So that can only be a good thing for us. Hmm. Okay. Should we consider moving that? Over to about maybe here. There we go. And there we go. Assign that ranger post to them. We should be okay. And what we'll do is we'll just Take that little kink out there. Smooth the edges a bit. So let's have a look. 100% perfect. Population's good. Open prey is around. See? So you can see now his territory is increasing. Which is good. these two boys here there we go having a bit of a set to bit of a fight as you can see car one is or car two oh hello aggressive little sods aren't they never mind right so we need to have them viewable from the research gallery so, let's just check. Research gallery will be here, maybe? Like that. The thing is... 
I could put it here. But that may be too far away. Here is good, but it prevents me from building anything here next to it. This could also be nice as well. And here. Hmm. We've also got the possibility of over here. But it would mean building a path all the way around the back. Hmm. Not sure on this one. I mean... Screw it, let's put it here. So what we'll do... Is we'll delete that. And we'll put another one. There, right in front. No, wrong. Wrong one. Damn it. That's what we're after. So the idea is to draw them in here. Don't know what they're doing over there. Just checking the area, I guess. Hasn't been over here yet, but okay. See, that's the thing. Now that I've moved that, I'm wondering, should I have it elsewhere? But they're kind of all stuck down that area there. See, food, water, all that is good. Like they're just staying down that area to spite me. Those buggers. So let's speed it up a little bit. Maybe they'll make their way this direction. I have goats running around. Yep, yeah, hello. Here come the boys. The dynamic duo themselves. Gonna go and check on them. And get rammed at the same time. Yep, see? Ah, now. Now they're going to be viewable. Delivery of a captured Allosaurus incoming. Oh boy. So, what we'll need to do then is... Now, how far out can we go from here? Uh, give me two minutes. So, we'll then put a gate here, we'll put another gate here, connect the fence up, and then, pretty sure, oh, that's the reason why it wasn't two minutes, because... Uh, 
And what we're going to do is we're just going to remove some of this vegetation here. Just so we can have visibility of the door. We'll probably put some forest over here and into the water. Let's take that out because it's just going to get in the way. Like so. So this is where Al, Al Bundy will probably be brought. Um, whoops, wrong one. Ranger team. We need to add that as a task. So, yeah, that's not looking too bad. I think we'll be ready for the delivery very soon of our very own Allosaurus. There we go, he's chewing on a goat, as you can see, dead goat. She's fine, keeping him well fed. Keeping him happy, that's what we're after. And we shall, whoopsie daisy, okay, transport dino, bosh, uh, we are going to want one of these, and we're going to have to add a power station nearby as well, just for added assistance and then we bring it down here like this and then along nice and straight like that get rid of that bit here we go so what we need to do is we need to tell our rangers to have a status check Oh, that's out of fuel. Resupply. Fill up. Um, we need to send our ranger man to go and check on our boy. We've got to rename him, obviously. Al Bundy has returned. Can't think of names for these two yet. Oh, correction. So. There's Terry. There's June. There we go. Al's getting aggressive. So, let's see. We're missing prey. Let's get in with one of these. Right in front of our boy. And let's see how he's looking for comfort. So, cohabitation, water, prey, open space, forest. Probably not enough. So let's add some more forest for our little friend. There we go. So he should now be more content. Yeah, he's a lot more content now. 80% comfort. It's looking good for Al. Look at him, isn't he lovely? Okay. Let's 
check on Terry and June, make sure they're not getting themselves into trouble. Yeah, they seem pretty content. Just making sure the area is reasonably okay. He's still got more area to to check for his um, territory. So he's still got some more walking about to do. As you can see, he's covered pretty much most of his pen. Or her pen, yes. Uh, and the same applies to this guy. The dinosaurs seem to be taking to their new surroundings. I want to make sure science center. Okay then. However, we need the animals thriving. As I'm sure you understand, our research is more valuable when we have superior specimens in their optimal conditions. So I want you to get a science center built and operational. This means more scientists will be needed. So build a staff center as well. Ultimately, science is about the data we collect and analyze. Okay rubbish then. In, rubbish out. We want to avoid that at all costs. Especially when so there's the science center that has already been made in these dinosaurs. And the CIA wants results, and we're going to get them. Period. Full stop. End of story. And then we want a Staff Center. Like so. There we go. And the Paleo Medical Facility. What a lovely name. So I think what we'll do is we'll put the Paleo Medical Facility quite close to the pens. So that they don't have to go too far. Like that. And then... We'll pull it in the path. And I think they're ready to go. Right. Scientists. Oh, hello. What's this? Efficiency upgrades. Lost cost upgrades. Storm vehicle upgrades. Oh, this could be good. So we've done that one. And then we have to do them in order. I guess so. So we're unable to research. Because we've hit a scientist limit. We need... Three of four, okay. These are all the various other things we can unlock. Various different medications that we're going to need. Hmm, okay. Structures, which is the one we were looking at. So that means then. I'm guessing we need to go to the, nope, the staff center. You scientists. Okay, so got a five medical, but not very good research. Let's recruit a new one. We're after a good, relatively good logistic. Oh, heavens, look at this one. He's really good, but he's not very good with genetics. She seems really excellent, Maria. I think we're going to recruit Maria. And, to add to that, we're going to take for Olivia. Olivia Fry. There we go. So. Let's say efficiency upgrades. Fry. And 2B. There we go. Starting the task. Fantastic. And we should have a paleo medical facility any second. Bingo. Okay. Dr. Dua and that guy Finch must be getting pressure from above. 
because they want more expedition rounded up check the expedition map and dispatch a remote capture team to a hot spot I'll do what I can on my end okay let's send is that enough okay let's send those okay then okay the good news first We've been achieving some success with our remote capture team. Oh, uh -huh. means a steady supply of dinosaurs to our control center. Now that I like. Removing them from possible uncontrolled interaction with the general public is a hundred percent win in my book. That's helpful to know the news, which I always we can still build out honestly, here kind of and here giving. as well. <laughs> These animals are arriving with an unknown disease, and we've got to get what? a handle on it post haste. That's management speak for PDQ, huh? Pretty damn quick. <laughs> Dr. Dua? We can diagnose this disease with scans from our mobile veterinary unit. We'll get it under control before too long. That's good. Let's get to work. Okay. Mobile vet unit. Add task. Let's scan our little friend. What's this? An Ankylosaurus. Oh, hello. We're going to have to have a new space for the ankles. So, let us put something in over here. Did we make it? No, we didn't. Of course we didn't. Muppet. There we go. So this is where the ankles are going to go. And we'll have a gate there. And then a gate opposite, like that. Nope, that's the wrong way. We want it like that. And then... We connect the fence. And then, let's see... Some environment. Put a nice section of water in. Put a good, do that over there, and then ranger team, add task to there. Okay. I think that's a good place to leave it. As we wait for the arrival of the ankles. We'll see you next time.